Hey everybody, Dogbird here, making a video this time on the Pocket Dimension, even though we have a few days left. This is just an alternate team. I'm doing, this is on my Catbird or Free to Play account. Uh, I picked this one because he has some different characters. He has them at a little bit lower levels, not as high strength. Uh, and of course, less ISOs as well. And you're going to see like what an alternate team can do. If you don't have, like, say, Omega Red and somebody else you want to bring in, I will start off saying Multiple Man is also another good option, even though he's not in my list here. Uh, he's somebody you have to build up anyway for Adam Warlock. He does do quite well, especially on the last node. Uh, those dupes can take a hit from the Ultron. Uh, better let a dupe die than when your main characters die. So, anyway, for this video here, the characters I brought in, there's my uh, level 75 gear 14 miles, 4 red, 7 yellow. Level 5 Skirmisher, no T4s. Uh, Scarlet Spider, only a 3 red, 3 yellow. Uh, level 5 Green Iso uh, Raider, uh, only has the uh, passive T4. Uh, Shuri, gear 15, level 80. Uh, does have the T4 and the instant upgrade and the Camille and her uh, ultimate there, her special ultimate. Level 5 Green Iso Healer. Uh, this is probably the biggest as far as stars. She has six red, seven yellow. Yeah. Uh, sure, he's also one of those characters who we just keep finding more and more value for because she is tech. She just keeps uh, popping back in there. Even though she's an older legendary, we keep using her. And of course, Cersei, I have a four red, four yellow on this. This, like I said, my free, free to play account, level 85, gear 15, uh, level 2 ISO Skirmisher. Uh, all the T4s except for the basic. Uh, definitely for Pocket Dimension, I would recommend actually putting the T4 in the basic if you have the uh, T4s available to you. You should be building uh, Cersei and Icarus if you have them with everything you can put into them, including T4s. Uh, this is not a bad T4. I'm just kind of saving my T4s because I'm working on Web Warriors. And last but not least, I have Yondu. Uh, level 5... Green Iso Skirmisher. I can never remember what these little symbols are. Only three red, but seven yellow. Gear 14. Only T4 in that boarding party, uh, which helps increase the summons and makes them much better. So with all this said, let's take a look at the video. Alright, this is the first node. Nothing too spectacular here. It's very easy. To be quite honest, uh, this doesn't really get difficult to hit like node six or seven. I think it's actually seven. Not much to see. I mean, we're just trying to basic just get through this. One other thing, if you're having problems getting through the darker dimension right now, uh, don't forget that each node you complete gives you 150,000 gold. Uh, total, three, three million gold you'll be getting if you complete it both times. So if you need to upgrade somebody, it might be worth just to get a node in, uh, and go back out and then upgrade them, especially if it's an earlier node, it's an easy gold. Plus there's training materials available uh, on these nodes as well. I know on my uh, Mordak account, my baby account, uh, I did need to upgrade quite a few characters. I upgraded Multiple Man, uh, Scarlet Spider. I, had, I upgraded Cersei. Originally she was level 75, gear 14. Uh, I upgraded her actually up to level 80, uh, gear 15. I've been pouring resources into it to get, the, get through it. Because uh, getting those second time rewards is quite valuable. See, second node, still not even close to being a challenge. Just getting some energy there. Like I said, nothing. Oh. This, there's not much to see here. I'm actually going to speed this up. Node 3, node 4. Let's get it to where it starts getting difficult. Note five. Well, actually, this note gets a little bit tricky with the shield minions. Uh, they have incredible uh, initial burst. And it actually gives you a good idea to start what to get ready for for Ultron, because you're going to have to deal with the shield troopers with Ultron. And I think we've all forgotten how annoying they can be at, with constantly attacking us. You also want to get rid of those shield operatives because they're going to put somebody under invis who may, might be your main target. I deal with those annoying shield securities. 
I get to see some of these minions from yonder now. Uh, if you have that T4, this will steal 10% health off a of mob. At lower, at the lower nodes, it's not that valuable because they don't have a whole lot of hit points to steal. But once you get to the higher, it's going to be a significant heal then from Ravage or Stitcher there. Boomer he just takes away turn meter. It's incredibly valuable. You want to make sure you're hitting as many characters as possible. See Yandu's uh, AOE there, his ultimate. So things are starting to get a little bit more difficult finally on node 6, I think. Just trying to deal with those taunts. I do have Skirmisher on Cersei and uh, Skirmisher on Miles, so we're getting rid of some of those buffs. Uh, I do have Raider on Scarlet Spider, probably would be better for just this to be a Skirmisher. Uh, I'll say if you have a lower level Scarlet Spider, like this one's only three stars. If you haven't completed this both times you probably, and you're free to play, you only have a two star. Uh, that's one of the problems I'm finding in Mordek is that Scarlet Spider at low stars has no focus, can't land those debuffs. Uh, I really think Scarlet Spider is a character uh, that is good in raids, but in reality, to really shine outside of raids, and even to do better in raids, he really needs high stars. Just because of his hit, his hit points being uh, the, off, based off what his heals, his heals is off his hit points, and just because he doesn't have the focus right now. So node seven, this becomes really the first tricky node. So it's just loads, there we go. So I like to go after Hawkeye first because he can blind the entire team. You're probably not going to get to Black Widow before she does that, so that's why I go after him. You're going to have to deal with uh, Black Widow speeding up the them. So Hawkeye's gone. Next, I like to get rid of the Yondus uh, because they can bring out summons, and it's just more characters you have to kill. I'll do taking away all those buffs. As you can see, now we got the Stitcher healing. Takes a bit away. Uh, takes a little bit away. The Boomer taking away some uh, turn meter. And Scarlet Spider actually doing some work there. Got rid of somebody. Uh, the hand. Don't forget about these hand uh, archers. They will take away your buffs. Now, since Black Widow's out, we want to get a hold her. Get a, uh, her under control. And maybe knock her out. Cap uh, America with taunt, so we just get rid of him. get rid of him with a big hit from Cersei, making it pretty easy. Healing up with uh, Shuri. Some more archers and another uh, Hawkeye, but Jessica Jones was pretty much dead, so we killed her off. And we're again going right back after our Hawkeye. Another Black Widow. So I had to make a decision here with as many characters left. I just went for the AoE. Fortunately, didn't really kill anybody. I do think, in general, if you're bringing in some alternate characters, they're going to have to be orange geared. So we're talking level 70, gear 13, to be decent. Uh, you can get away with multiple men at a little bit lower levels, at the level 65 range. Uh, just because of the way he works, but the more you can put into him, the better. And I know a lot of people don't like Multiple Man, but he is an interesting protector. He does have those dupes, and those do come in handy. And if you want Adam Warlock at, at six stars, you're going to have to bring him to gear 13 anyway. Uh, whether or not he's worth the investment or Adam Warlock's worth getting the seven stars, I don't know. It depends on what you think about him, uh, honestly. Unless you're really a min-maxer, probably 7 stars probably isn't worth it, because you have to gear all the X-Factor characters to gear 14. That's a lot of mutant gear. And if we're getting more mutants, which we probably will with Apocalypse coming, uh, that would be gear better served elsewhere. So one thing here is you want to make sure, uh, unfortunately this is a, a node, I wouldn't restart it. Because I brought the minions out from Yandu first, 
without waiting for the AOEs from Ms. Marvel and Iron Man's to go off. That's just, they're just going to kill the minions. That would be a waste of a turn, so I restart at the node. I do tend to go after Ms. Marvel first, but you also want to keep those crossbones under control, either with stuns or some uh, disrupts, as you're about to see here from Isles getting the disrupt, because they're going to taunt the first turn and they're going to explode the second turn. You have to get rid of Ms. Marvel because she tends to get that taunt out there. But because the Iron Man's in, uh, haven't AoE'd yet, and neither did Ms. Marvel, I did not bring out the minions. This also goes for uh, Red Skull. If you bring him in, he's okay. Uh, his minions do give you some death proofs with that heal. And Ultimate Man, uh, probably don't want to bring out his dupes if you have that ability already. Just whatever dupes you get from him getting hit. So we got stuck behind the cap taunt. We got rid of that with Yondu. There's the AoEs from Iron Man, so now it's safe to bring out the minions. Get some energy going. Kill them all with Cersei. So we went right after Iron Man here. Slowing down crossbones, because we don't want him taunting. It's safe to bring out the minions, even though Iron Man has not taken his turn yet, so he can AoE, but there's only one of them, so he probably would survive, even if he does get a turn off. They stun the Royal Guard, so we don't get stuck behind his taunt. And back to work on Iron Man. And we take him out with Boomer. Now crossbones. Here he goes. Now we got some more ads. Another. So Royal Guard was pretty much dead, so we took him out. Working on Ms. Marvel again. So Ms. Marvel's gone. Iron Man's gone. We threw the car. There's a taunt from Crossbones, but I don't think it's going to matter. Because he's gone thanks to Cersei. Wanted to hit a couple people. As you can see, I can't land anything on Jessica Jones, obviously. Well, we're down to the last two now. Save some energy. This is the everybody can either res or self res node, which can be quite annoying. And difficulty is definitely ramping up. I like to get Doctor Strange under control because he can uh, clear away our buffs. So we're going to stun him. Now I put the uh, disrupt here on Electra uh, because she will go under invis on her turn. This way we can actually hit her. The other next targets would be the Deadpools. They're going to do their AoEs first. So it's the next turn they would do their specials and uh, try to kill somebody who has the lowest health, percentage-wise. Using Stitcher there to do some damage. And we got some Terminator going there. Boomer. Now we get to hit everybody. Get some energy back. Now the minions, uh, you don't have to worry about Wolverine. He's going to do his AoE so he can take out those minions or a minion. I like to go after the Nebulas next because they get a lot of evades and become very hard to kill, especially if they start assisting each other. And then they self-revive, like that, on top of it. 
Getting Groot under control. Don't want him getting death proofs out there. And Nebula revives again. Chance there to rewind to turn meter. Now, despite the error having dodge, uh, Stitcher still steals the health and removes that evade. Which was an interesting thing. I didn't know that was going to work. I just went and did it <laughs> to find out if it would. And Nicola revives yet again. I forget what the percentage chance was. And she's finally gone. Clearing off Gibos, getting rid of the Groots. Another Doctor Strange, gotta heal up uh, Scarlet Spider there. Get rid of that Wolverine. I need to get to work on Doctor Strange. Get him out of the way. So we've got Nebula there. Decided to stun that Wolverine who's about to take a turn. Ended up almost killing him. Getting some energy out. Just went and got rid of that evade so I can hit Nebula. And get rid of Nebula now. Get rid of that Wolverine. Now to work on Deadpool, we got the AOE here. Electric's gone. Deadpool gone. Work on the medic. Just doing basics and getting ready for the final node. to the final node. There we go. We have, this is a very difficult node, which it should be for the very final node. Try to find who to go after. It should be shield operative. Really want to get rid of her because of that invis. I uh, yeah, stun Mordo just to give us a little break from his constant heals and stuff. Throwing the disrupt over on Captain America so he can't taunt. And back to this shield operative now. So I choose to bring in the minions. Be sure he's already down into the yellow. And we're going to steal some health. And heal up Shuri. We got some turn meter rewind. Almost got rid of that alternative. Not quite. And you can see the minion took the blast from uh, Ultra, which was great. Let the minion die, not us. So, a chance to steal some buffs. We already got rid of one of the shield troopers. Slowing down Ultron now. We're leaving Captain America alone because we don't want any of our ads. We just want to work on Ultron. So one of the other strategies, if you remember, or if you weren't around for it, is to come in here with, with one character uh, and just hit Ultron that way he doesn't revive like that when he dies. Because even if one point of damage is done, he wouldn't revive. So that may be a strategy you might want to do. I didn't do that. You see I'm stuck, and here come the ads. 
Unfortunately, Yondu has that heal block, but we do get rid of Ultron, which is your goal here. And now we have to get rid of some of these Mortos and Shield Troopers. Get rid of a Morto. Gonna have to deal with Hand Sentry and his uh, invising everybody. We've lost Yondu. So I'm gonna work on the Shield Trooper. And of course, Captain America is gonna be a problem too. And don't forget Cersei's AOE removes those debuffs. Forced to work on hands, and now Captain America goes and taunts. Mordo's constantly still throwing out those blinds and heal blocks. Get some energy out. Continue chugging through. Even if we have to, which we're going to have to do is uh, two shot this. So you can either use cores on the same day or wait the next day. But you will get through it. Get rid of a shield trooper. And get rid of another Mordo. So don't be afraid to just uh, do this over a course of two days and two shot this last node. Nothing wrong with that as long as you get it done by, I believe it's Friday at server reset. Which is like 7 p.m. my time, Eastern. And it is worth it to use cores to finish this up for your first or second run. Uh, the rewards are that good. I do get rid of the hand sentry. Get the last characters out. Three uh, troopers and a Mordo. Plus a couple of Captain Americas we're going to have to deal with. Trying to get rid of that Mordo. Or do as much damage as I can. point just took up that trooper so we're going to do those two troopers then get some energy out and this is pretty much over now but like I said it'll be an easy cleanup for a second try got rid of some of those taunts from Captain America too so I hope this video has been informative and helps you out and I'll see you next time